Good day, everyone. My name is Dr. David Amron. I am the host of Lippy Logic at the Lippy Lounge. And today I have a very, very special guest. Um, this is an educational forum for lipedema, looking at various different topics. And I'm usually very structured in terms of what I want to say and my specific agenda of each topic and talk. But today I'm going to be a little bit more free form because I have a special guest here, Ms. Carrie Kasem. And before she starts talking, because we have a long history, I got to tell you, and, and we can talk a lot. Um, she's a, a dear, dear friend of mine, a patient of mine for over 20 years. And I knew her father very well, Casey Kasem, who I grew up listening to all his wonderful stuff he did and all the music he was involved with and really a, a wonderful person. Um, you probably did not know this, but we did a radio show for about a year and a half, over 10 years ago. It was in Los Angeles on two different channels, 97.1 and KBC. It was called The Cut Above, and it was looking at concerning trends in cosmetic medicine. Uh, all these different things, deceitful marketing, all these things. And Carrie was my, my co-host in it, and we had a blast. It was a one-hour show, and I am so happy to have her here as a special guest in the Lippy Lounge. Thank you for having me. I always feel so honored when you, you know, you want me and want to include me uh, in what you do. You're such an expert. You know so much. And that's why I've trusted you for over 20 years with my face and my body. But this show is about, this show is about awareness. So this show is about, about a disease that I'm, I've been very involved in and my heart is, is really in it. And, and I'm, I'm passionate about increasing the awareness for this ignore disease. You know, like I've said, there's just a pervasive ignorance around this disease. And I use that it word ignorance not to mean stupidity, but to mean it's been ignored and that's got to change. Carrie has the same thing going on. Um, she started a foundation called Kasem Cares. And it's a similar type of thing about something going on that people are not aware of. So just take a minute or two, just, just talk about Kasem Cares, what it's about and why there's kind of some similarities with lipidemia, it's kind of ignored thing where people are suffering, People aren't aware about yeah. it. And you know, with me and elder abuse, it's like elder abuse is where, you know, domestic violence was, you know, 30 years ago. Shh, don't say anything. This is, you know, family and it's not, and it's horrific. And that's what I've been, you know, uh, working to curb through legislation, state to state. I have 21 states with uh, the Case and Cares Visitation Bill to help the elderly. Like you, you know, it's like, it's just, you're bringing awareness to something that would, probably never see the light of day. And now there's so many people on both sides, you know, whether it's uh, a medical issue, um, an abuse issue, we're saying, no, this has got to stop. You know, something's got to be done about it. And uh, we both are very passionate about what we do. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, that's really transcends things. I mean, you know, I've said this, you know, work and the work we do is more than just work. It really is it's so much more than that. I mean, it's just a way of life. It refines us as human beings. The more we continue to do good things and the challenges that are ahead of us that we battle and overcome, the better it makes us and all that stuff. And it's, it's infectious, that energy with things. Absolutely. So, so, so Carrie um, began an organization. I mean, she started mentioning it called Kasem Cares. And it, it, she began it after her father, who she loved to death, really just, you know, just amazing man um, that I had you know, the, really the honor of meeting many, many different times, um, went through a very rough ending of his life with things yes. like that, where he was really abused. Um, and Carrie began to speak out very, very passionately and vehemently about that. And so you can find a lot of information about Kasem Cares online that she's still involved with. Kasemcares.org. And it just, it really is if you are being kept from a loved one, your mom, your dad, somebody in your family and you can't see them, we do have, um, we can help. So if that's the case, definitely contact caseandcares.org. So I'm, yeah, definitely yeah. In, into helping people and, and everything that I do, I always like to say, I everything that I do, whatever job I take on, it's got to have that aspect of help. It's got to help somebody. Yeah, you know what? I promise I'm gonna do this with every person coming on. So I've got to present you with this flower <laughs> from the Lippy Lounge, lit from Lippy Logic <laughs> for you to take with you. But but let me let me take a minute and you know, so lipidema just just you know to kind of run through some things again. I mean, it's really this crazy thing. And that's why, you know, I'm so involved with it. I kind of feel I'm so perfectly positioned to be so involved in leading this area with therapy and and now awareness, hopefully, people are getting more involved with things and trying to make changes. 
because that'll change things for when patients know more, doctors begin to know more, insurance companies begin to then pay attention to things, and things are starting to change in that regard. But this condition affects, do you know how many, what percentage of women? I don't. Yeah, so let me tell you. So the crazy thing is 10 to 11% of women worldwide are affected by lipedema. 17 million U.S. women and 370 million worldwide. It's not always a characteristic thing you see of somebody who might weigh 400 pounds, and it can be very subtle, even a person like yourself. It presents at a, at a, at a sensitive age, lipedema. I mean, think about it. It presents at puberty. You know, I've got a 15-year-old daughter. I know, you know, how sensitive people can go, through, you know, be going through that period of time with things like that, and um, it's kind of like ignored. You're kind of blamed or shamed, just go lose weight and diet and exercise and doctors many times misdiagnose it. And many women go into their 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, and then eventually find out it's lipedema. And, and they've, they've, they've gone through the emotional pain of it, the physical pain of a lot of this stuff. And, and the really frustrating thing, it's still not commonly being recognized by insurance companies. All the things are beginning to change. And we're gonna talk about this in another segment, but things like weight loss surgery, which is fine. A lot of people, you know, need to do that. But a lot of these patients with lipedema are being misdiagnosed. Um, it's it's really crazy what goes on with it. So that's it. So I want to thank you so much. I, I promise we're going to keep this within 10 minutes. This is a brief show. It's not our one-hour show. Um, but I'm so happy that Carrie came on and you guys got to meet her. She is a wonderful individual, a dear friend, a patient. And I can say that because she says that. Otherwise, I would not be able to say that. And somebody I've just... Um, really enjoyed working with to educate yes. for many years, okay? Thank you so much for having uh, me on, yeah. yeah. So, Dr. David Amron, Lippy Logic at the Lippy Lounge. Get involved, stay involved.